pictures from inside the house, and close-ups of the windows have been emerging online. Before this horrific incident, the house was occupied by five young ladies. Friends and neighbors have come forward, saying that the house was a party house. The girls were not very secretive with the alarm codes, and also people were always in and out of that house. This photo has now been floating around online. We can clearly see a handprint. To me, all five fingers are spread open, the action one would make when pushing a door open for example. It's obviously an important piece of evidence, since it may even belong to the killer. However, we don't know. Like I said the house was occupied by five girls, and there were people coming over all the time. In one of the rooms of the house, a no-network detected screen can be seen on the television. In the kitchen, a bag with red solo cups and unwashed dishes can be seen. I also saw an empty beer bottle in one of the pictures, take-out drink containers, etc. A private security company has been appointed to monitor the house now. As time passes, frustrations build. I think it's evident with Kaylee's father. He just wants answers. He's currently looking into hiring a private investigator to help solve the case. There are two sliding glass doors on the home. One on the second floor that can be accessed from the ground level outside, and one on the third floor that connects to a deck only accessible from inside the home. The point of access appears to be the second floor slider, and since Kaylee's injuries are more brutal, many are saying she was the target.